About 40 years ago, the modern internet came into being, and it has played the role of global public network in a remarkably stable way. We still use the TCP IP protocols to connect anything and everything. However, if we want to build a website, internet service, enterprise system, or other system connected to the internet, we need to use this proprietary legacy stack. Typically, we start off with a cloud service from big tech, such as AWS, possibly add in other services such as CDNs, and then combine traditional building blocks such as databases, web servers, application servers, and frameworks like Kubernetes. The problem is that the complexity overhead is enormous. And we build these big Rube Goldberg machines that are insecure by default. So we have to protect them with things like firewalls. But if just one of those components is misconfigured or gets out of date or we write some bad code, hackers can hop the firewall and create havoc. On top of that, it's all too easy to get locked into the components we're using and the thousands of vendors involved in the legacy stack play captive customer games. All of this drives a worldwide IT spend of a staggering $3.9 trillion a year. Moreover, this stack can't support autonomous code, which is what we need to reinvent the internet ecosystem. Over time, the legacy stack has grown to include popular internet services from mega monopolies and the user data and relationships that they control. It's time for a reboot of the internet. Luckily, a new paradigm is emerging and a new transition is upon us. The internet computer upgrades the public internet so that it provides not just global connectivity, but also a revolutionary shared computer. This transformation of the internet is achieved through a new open protocol called ICP, or Internet Computer Protocol. Let's talk some more about it. The internet computer is a replacement for the proprietary legacy stack. It's created by independent data centers running ICP, which forms a new kind of blockchain computer. This has unbounded capacity and delivers performance that rivals the traditional cloud. The internet computer reimagines software as interoperable compute units called canisters. Software canisters are an evolution of smart contracts. They consist of a bundle of WebAssembly bytecode and the memory in which that bytecode runs. Just like smart contracts, canisters are tamper-proof and unstoppable. However, a key difference is that they are also scalable and parallelizable. Canisters also run at web speed and are highly efficient. As you would expect, they are open and interoperable. That means that if you create a canister using the Rust programming language and share some functions with me, and I create a canister using the Matoko programming language, my Matoko code can call your functions directly. The internet computer is tremendously powerful. You can use it to build just about anything without AWS servers, CDNs, databases, firewalls, and so on. You can use it to build websites, open internet services, enterprise systems, pan-industry systems, and you can use it for all of those classic applications of smart contracts like DeFi. You can create new systems and services on the internet computer in two simple steps. In the first step, you write code in any programming language that compiles down to a WebAssembly canister, such as Rust or Motoko. In the second step, you simply upload the canisters that you've created to the internet computer using its open protocols, and that's it. The internet computer enables you to build directly on the internet itself. No big tech, no legacy building blocks, no cloud services. Because of the way canisters work, you won't need a database server. Canisters can serve user experiences directly into web browsers, so you won't need a web server. Because the internet computer is a native edge architecture, you won't need a content distribution network to speed up your systems and services. You won't need a DNS service, because the internet computer is a giant DNS server. And you won't need firewalls, because your canisters run within a tamper-proof environment. The internet computer enables a completely new way of doing things. But the internet computer isn't just about providing 
better ways of doing things that we did before. It's also about providing ways to do things that we couldn't do before, such as building open internet services, using autonomous software that runs without an owner like a person or corporation, that can share special APIs that cannot be revoked, enabling service composability through the trustless sharing of user data and functionality, and which can be controlled and managed entirely using transparent, open, tokenized governance systems. It's also about providing entrepreneurs with new revenue and fundraising models and ways to generate stronger mutualized network effects that can beat out monopolistic incumbents. The internet computer is about powering a rebuild of our internet ecosystem in open form and enabling more collaboration, innovation, and dynamism. And we hope you'll join us leading this movement.